Greetings everybody. I'm here because one of my favorite groups of all time, D12. Um, one of the members of D12 has basically annihilated MGK with a snippet. All right. Now I only heard a portion of this this from Bizarre. Bizarre made a track like an MGK disc, you know. And in the disc, he said basically, you know what? He's not a vegan. He's eating niggas. This was a, a, a quotable quote from the snippet that I heard. Now we all know Bizarre. If anything, he's not a vegan. Uh, that's very visible. It's very obvious. Um, at times, Bazaar's lyrical style might be a little bit bizarre, but I think that's um, that's an indicator of just him being a free-thinking person, you know. And he called himself Bazaar, so it shouldn't really be strange if you hear him say something that might be considered bizarre, you know. But Bazaar dropped a verse on MGK going out his neck. Um, I don't know if MGK can respond to this because MGK being like a wannabe Eminem, being an Eminem clone, uh, what he's basically doing is honing in on Eminem's energy. So I don't know if he even has an arsenal that is able to fend off other rappers um, outside of the shady spectrum. Okay, now R.I.P. Proof. Proof was one of my favorite rappers from D12 because you know D12, they just lyrically dance. They have a lot of um, uh, material. They can innovate material on the spot. You know, they can ad lib some of the best verses you've ever heard. All right, so that era of rap, like the backpack rap that they came from. They actually um, were very instrumental in bringing about the new age of rap that exists today. All right, because many people in the uh, more lyrical rap, especially groups, but in the more lyrical rap, you would find that many people would have borrowed some style from Shady. They borrowed some style from Canaiva. All right. They borrowed some style from uh, Bazaar. They borrowed some style from Proof. You know, I used to compare Proof to like Method Man, so on and so forth. But not to ramble. On. I don't want to ramble on for too long. But look out for this Bazaar MGK disc. All right, Bazaar is going at his chest, going at his neck. I don't know if MGK can survive all this. Um, you all stay tuned. Just let me know what your thoughts are about this developing model. 50 Cent is going at MGK. D12 is going at MGK. The only thing that's left right now is for the Peace de Resistance. Uh, the only thing that's left is for Eminem to drop a verse or a few verses on uh, MGK that will basically silence this man for good. But people, let me know what your thoughts are. Just go and do a little quick search on YouTube, find that snippet of the bizarre MGK disc. Let me know what your thoughts are about this matter. Breaking news. One love.